Hey, right, y'all know me. Smash, like, subscribe, comment. I don't care what you comment, long as you comment, long as you comment. I don't give a f You did. I appreciate all the positive feedback. It's way, 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 way more positive feedback than it is negative. But everybody got their opinions and they're entitled to them. It ain't no sense of arguing with them or nothing like that. I mean, you can. The more comments, the more help me out. I ain't tripping. Whatever. But for us positive people and us sharing life experiences and us listening and learning, us being that wise all on the tree, ain't no need to even argue back with these folks. Nah. I appreciate everybody, man. Everybody who done helped me out a whole lot, man. I appreciate y'all for subscribing and tuning in. Give me them views, man. I'm going to keep doing what I do the way I do it, the way I do it. I'm going to be sipping it, smoking my smoke. I don't smoke weed. I smoke sick, you know. But I'm going to be doing that. You know what I'm talking about? What I wanted to get into, man, I want to touch on this one more time. My last video about homosexuality. Right? I'm going to answer all the questions right here. I'm going to make it in general as possible. It takes too much time out your day. It takes too much energy to hate people. I am not about to go look up a Frank Ocean, Lil Nas X, or whoever video just to go comment that I don't like homosexuals. You're bored. You have nothing to do. You have no life. Let them people be those people, man. Once again, let me reiterate this. I'd rather you... You hear me? You listening? I'd rather you hate me for who I am than love me for who I am not. If only those who've been perfected in the sight of God Allah will be saved, then who will be saved? You guys that are homophobic are deep down inside homosexuals. Most of you are. According to science, according to senses, you're homosexuals. And you just don't want to admit it. But it's all good if you like another man or you like another woman. Who cares? It takes too much time and energy to care about what somebody else is doing sexually. Now, if you had an interest or if you, if you were mad at your son or your daughter for indulging in homosexual activities, then... All right, that's understandable. Cool, do that. But a random person you have no relation to, you just mad at them because they're gay? Who cares? I'm not a gay rights advocate for those people that's putting that on there. Because I looked at the last video of me speaking on homosexuality and say, hey, thank you for... You ain't got to thank me for doing the right thing. You ain't got to thank me for being human and believing in equality. You ain't got to thank me for not caring about what your sexuality is because it makes me no difference. The day that I would not like a homosexual, the day that I would hate a homosexual, the day that I would not, you, you know, want to associate with them is the day that they start saying, uh, in order to work here, you got to be homosexual. The day that they say, you, you know, homosexuals are better than African-Americans and and Caucasian Americans. The day, that's the day I start hating. And they're like, oh, no, hell no. I don't care. Stop trying to get me to believe what you believe. Stop trying to get me to care about what you care about. I don't care. I'm going to smoke my cigarette, drink my drink, work my work, and just live my life to the fullest. Why do you care this somebody else has a different sexual preference than you. And some of y'all guys just commenting on that stuff. Y'all ain't seen y'all kids in, in months. Go see your daughters and sons. How about that? Do that. Go put that effort into something positive or getting some money or something like that, man. Put it into your hustle, whatever your hustle is, legal or illegal. Go do that. I know a lot of us was young and we was taught to hate. We was taught to hate homosexuality. Yeah, we was. Because that's all we heard. But when you become a grown man, when you 20, 21, 30 years, especially 30, in your 30s like me, huh? 30, birdie. You're supposed to grow up. 
Talking about I'm condoning homosexuality. I don't condone nothing. Sex, whatever you want to do is what you want to do. I, ain't, that, that, I don't mean I'm putting effort into condoning it. That's going out my way to make sure you be able to have your rights to do what you want. I ain't doing that. I'm saying if you do what you do, I don't care. Leave me out that thing. Take that somewhere else, man. Not on my page to hate nobody. I love anybody who love me, and I hate anybody that don't hate me. It's God's job to forgive people and do all the other stuff. Like, it ain't mine. If you dislike me, I dislike you. I'm not going to say, you know, I'm not going to sit up here and say, oh, I love you if you dislike me. No, I dislike you too. So what? But I ain't putting no energy into it. I'm just, it's just F you. I'm not advocating for nothing, brothers. I, everybody out there just to hit me up, inbox me on Facebook and Instagram, I'm talking about, man, it seems like you're advocating for homosexuality. You're supposed to be Muslim. Yeah. And I know if only those who've been perfected in the sight of Allah should be saved and who will be saved. I know that for sure. That's what Jesus said in the Moorish Holy Quran. Jesus said with people who were extortioners, rape, pine, rape, yeah, rape, prostitutes, courtesans, that's what that is, courtesans. Jesus said with murderers, robbers, he said with the lowest of the lowest and the highest of the highest and considered them all equal. So who am I to? Cast my judgment on you. I don't want nobody judging me because I'm a convicted felon. Right? A lot of y'all been convicted felon. You want somebody judging you? Do you? I don't. Do I want somebody judging me because of the tone of my skin, my pigmentation I was born with, blessed with? Do I want somebody doing that? No. Nah. So why I'm going to go out my way to just might because they sexuality. It's the last time I'm really speaking about it. Unless y'all got some specific questions or want me to speak on a certain situation, y'all can drop that in the comments. It's cool. I'll speak on it. But as of now, I really had nothing to say about it. I told y'all what I felt in the first video. I don't care what sexuality you is. I love all y'all. If you love me, if you hate me, then I hate you too. But I ain't putting a bunch of energy into it. I ain't going to y'all page write no dumb comments. I am who I am and who I'm not, I'll never be. I am who I am today, and I'm glad that I don't hate. I'm glad that I experienced the experiences I experienced because it made me a better person. It made me a more loving person. It made me a more caring person, more considered person. See, the more scientific of America, you will have asked what the study, and he will say self. And then you come back and ask him what the study next. He will say self. Know who you are first. Then put yourself in other people's shoes and their perspective. Put yourself in their shoes. See what they going through. Then you judge them accordingly. Right. Rightfully. Love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. I'm gone, man. I don't have nothing else to say about it. I spent nine minutes on it. That's it. I'm not advocating for nobody. I just advocate for equal rights, humanity, loving each other. Peace and blessings. There ain't another second being wasted. Another second going into y'all negative energy, man. Peace and blessings, man.